Deteriorating living conditions and unaffordable rent increases have led residents in this building to take matters into their own hands. I'm Melissa Nicavoli at 1440 Lawrence Avenue West, where residents here tell me they will not be paying rent until their issues are addressed. The stained carpets and broken ceiling. Conditions so bad that even Canada Post has not delivered mail to the building in three years. Canada Post is saying there's a big bad infestation in your building. This, um, and they're not going to deliver mail, but it's supposed for the landlord it's okay that people live in these conditions. It's a too much bad bug, cockroaches all the time, people complaining, not cleaning. No maintenance. Both 1440 and 1442 Lawrence are owned by Barney River Investments. Residents tell me they have refused to address serious repairs in the building while consistently increasing rent above regulated guidelines. Rashid Limbada has been a resident at the building for over 30 years. He says making ends meet has been difficult and would like the provincial government to step in. Not affordable. It's too high. One bedroom, 2200 plus parking and plus uh, uh, hydro, almost 2,400. While filming inside the building, we noticed foul smells throughout several floors, which appear to not have been properly cleaned, including garbage chutes that were overflowing. Uh, super not putting the beans down. Tenants at both buildings have organized and will be taking part in a rent strike starting October 1st, joining thousands of others, including residents at 33 King and 22 John, in protesting unfair rent hikes. We estimate that uh, it's uh, more than 600 tenants, probably one of the largest rent strikes in Toronto's history that are happening right now, as well as folks in Thorncliffe Park, also on rent strike for six months now. So we see a huge movement in Toronto, at least, of people standing up and fighting back. Tenants say they are open to negotiation and will go back to paying rent once the property owner agrees to meet with them, a request that tenants say have been ignored. We had a petition going on for many months before people decided to go on a rent strike. The petition was to say, scrap the above guideline rent decreases, withdraw them, and also repair our units. We need a schedule of repairs. We never heard back from management. Anything we heard from Barney Rivers has been more intimidation. Now, residents here will be holding an event tomorrow for their rent strike at 2 p.m. Now, we did reach out to Barney River Properties, but they did not get back by deadline. Melissa Nacavalli, City News.